Hey everyone, it's Harry from Savvy Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have a treat for you right here. I have uh, some uh, mangalista pork. For those of you who may not have been familiar with mangalista, it is a heritage breed from uh, Eastern Europe, originally from Hungary. The kind folks at mangalistaestates.com were kind enough to send me an extra piece of meat after I placed a large order with them for some Mangalista spare ribs, Mangalista Boston butt. And uh, this uh, brisket from the pig called the uh, pork brisket is from the chest muscle. In this episode, we're going to do a test cook on some Mangalista pork and let you guys know how this wonderful Kobe style heritage pork tastes like, which is all the rage from all the restaurants and chefs in America who want to get their hands on this wonderful piece of hog heaven. The Mangalista is a heritage hog that originated from uh, Eastern Europe, I believe in Hungary. And uh, the uh, Hog is actually known as the woolly hog because it's got uh, woolly like hair and uh, it's the Kobe beef of pork because it has a very high fat marbled meat so you can see here and uh, the uh, curly head rare breed of hog they are recognized as a heritage swine breed and it's extremely high in something that I've told you before that exists in uh, good Wagyu from Japan called oleic acid. It's uh, Mangalista pork is really exceptionally juicy, tender and marble. I don't eat it very often but this is one of those rare occasions where I have a whole brisket to cook. I know chefs rave about the meat as the flavor is unbelievable. These things were, were imported from Eastern Europe uh, by woolly pigs in America in the early 2000s and then the breed has since uh, become a very popular in America. Mangalista Pork Estates uh, is one of the few purveyors in America that can sell this in bulk and in uh, wholesale and retail cuts. Uh, according to Steve, whom I spoke to at Mangalista Estates to get some more background about this uh, hog, is that it's a vegetarian fat diet, no antibiotics. They raise the hogs for about 11 months until it reaches about 400 pounds before they uh, send it to the uh, packing house. Is actually finished on oats and barley the last eight weeks. That's why the meat is a little bit red, which is the characteristic of the Mangalista kind of a hog. Um, I'm go to the other side. So if you're wondering what a uh, bris pork brisket is, it's the same as kind of like a cow. Obviously, you know, a cow and a, uh, a, a pig are po uh, porcines and bovines. They have four legs and uh, in the chest area where the brisket is, this is where this comes from. So imagine a hog with the picnic and the shoulder. The uh, piece here comes from the area of the picnic, is deboned and they cut off the skin. I'm gonna cook this just very plainly with just some Slap Your Daddy all-purpose rub so I can sit down and taste the flavor and describe the flavor of this wonderful heritage hog, also known as the Kobe pork. I've eaten a lot of different kinds of porks from Berkshire, Korobota, Durox, and a lot of heritage breeds like Red Waddle. But this is my very first time really getting a big piece of Mangalista pork to actually try. Share with you guys the tasting impressions. Let's put a simple rub on it. Use my uh, all-purpose love rub. You can uh, put a schmear on it if you like. If you're not, it's fine too. The uh, schmear merely helps the uh, meat stick a little bit better. Uh, you can use mustard. You can use uh, Worcestershire. You can use uh, a little bit of apple juice. Even water is fine just to create a tacky surface. We're gonna cook this until it's tender. Do a taste test on this Mangalista style pork. A little bit of slap daddy rub on it. This is not a very thick cut of meat, so I'm not gonna put double the amount. Okay, it's all set. We're gonna smoke the pork belly in the EX6. And uh, I just finished cleaning it, and it just takes a little bit of trouble to clean it. And uh, for this episode, I'm going to try something that I learned online. Folks have been putting a pan underneath to help catch the grease. You got to make sure that you don't block the uh, drain hole here, right here. But if you put a pan here, hopefully it'll catch much of the grease that so you don't have to deal with so much cleanup. So I'm going to try it in this cook and let you guys know if this method works at all. 
taking care not to block the uh, grease hole here. As you can see on this side here. Just want to make sure that you guys are aware of the safety precaution. So this is a, just a regular cake pan you can buy from the store. And it seems to fit about right. There's enough gap here for the oil to flow in there. And there's nothing underneath. It's all clean. We're going to put the uh, mangalista pork into a 275 degree pit. You can pick anything you want. You can use a pellet cooker, drum, kamado. I'm just going to use my Weber smoke fire for convenience. Time to spray our pork brisket. Gentle spritz of water. That's all you need to form the crust. I'm gonna put a piece of wood underneath the uh, pork brisket. It's starting to pool a little bit here. I don't like that. So I want to have a beautiful crust. So, so you can see the liquid draining. So, all right, so much better. The smoke fire has cooled down and let's take a look to see if our foil pan hack actually worked. All right, let's see here. So it all right, caught most of the uh, oil. Just a little bit of ash at the bottom. And uh, our pan is in good shape. Not a lot of oil there. So this technique works. So if you want to try this at home next time to ease the cleanup, you can put a foil pan at the bottom. After about three hours at 275 in the smoke fire, the mangalista pork brisket has crusted up. Where you can tell if you touch it and the rub will not fall off. I'm going to mop, put a little bit of a mop liquid on it using a stubs and uh, we're going to cook it in the oven just to get it nice and tender. The internal temperature is about the 155 degree range right now. Just a little bit of mop. Just some apple juice to keep it moist. At this point, you can cook it back in the pit, but uh, to save fuel, I'll just cook it in the oven because the pork brisket in there doesn't know if it's sitting in the oven or it's sitting in your pit so I'm too cheap so I'll use the oven BTU is BTU as BTU as I always say our mangalista pork is done we cool down a little bit ready to try give it a taste test here put some of the jus back onto the mangalista brisket Angelista pork brisket. Uh, this is a Dell Strong slicer. Super nice knife. Thanks to the folks at Dell Strong sending it to me. This looks just like the brisket muscle. You have the point in the flat. I'm sure on a pig, it's a lot different. I rarely cook uh, pork brisket, and this Mangalista is a rare treat. I, I think I've only eaten it once before. Really excited to try this Mangalista pork. Beautiful smoke ring. The Mangalista pork is done. Pork brisket was cooked for about five hours or so. We cook it about three hours in the smoke fire and about two hours wrapped in the foil for a little bit of a stubs of pork marinade. The meat is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. You can see here. One thing I, I think I have to admit that the smoke fire produces a killer, killer smoke ring. I've uh, cooked enough times on it to know that uh, that is uh, superior to the other uh, pellet cookers I've ever used. And uh, very tender. I'm going to take a bite out of this here. Look at that, beautiful. You know, this is the, the flavor of um, all natural sweet pork. And uh, I understand why chefs rave over this pork. The texture is absolutely amazing. The flavor is you know, just a very natural pork flavor, very sweet. The meat is absolutely tender. The flavor is incredible. I, I don't remember the last time I ate just pork like this. There's not competition style, not injected. 
No funny stuff, no fancy stuff. Just a rub, smoke, wrap. Just super tender, moist. It's got a nice kind of tenderness, like a very, like a Kobe kind of uh, uh, oiliness to it. So this is a heritage pig. So it's not bred for leanness. Uh, it's, it's, you know, maintains its original uh, genetics. And I understand why this woolly pig is now so popular in America and sought after by all the chefs because the, the flavor is absolutely, absolutely amazing. The mangalisa fat is also highly sought after to use uh, like lardons to make different products here. So this famous for the marbling, you see how much fat and how much marbling this is. Uh, just absolutely, absolutely wonderful pork flavor. I'm gonna eat this bite here where there's a little bit of fat with the meat. So. Wow, that's tremendous flavor. This is probably, I have to say, probably one of the best pork meats I've eaten. I've eaten Korobota, Duroc, Berkshires, you know, Red Waddle, and uh, this is really, really up there in terms of flavor, mouthfeel, the taste of pork. It just tastes like really, really just good pork. I'm gonna have another bite here. Undoubtedly, stupendous. This is like crazy, crazy awesome good pork. So, thanks to Steven from uh, Mangalista Estates for sending this to me. Uh, this was uh, part of a package I ordered for some ribs and some Boston bite. But the nice people at Mangalista Estates threw in a pork brisket. And I just cook it simply with nothing, no competition style, just cook it perfectly. And it's absolutely, absolutely just amazing. Amazing, amazing pork. Uh, you can see how it looks like right here. That is a killer piece of pork here right now. Okay, enough about me talking now. Uh, we're gonna let Mr. Beans, Mr. Beans, you're waiting patiently. The brisket dog tastes uh, some of this uh, pork brisket to see if he likes mangalista pork. And uh, hopefully he'll enjoy some of these muscles. I'm gonna pull a few different muscles for him. Uh, this part looks like kind of like the flat. This part kind of looks like the point. So I'm gonna give you a point and a flat piece. See if he likes it. Beans, you lucky dog. We have some special Mangalista pork for you. And this is uh, a breed all the way from Eastern Europe. And it's all the rage in America. So you are going to be a lucky dog because most people in America will not have a chance to eat this. But you do because you are a lucky brisket judging dog. So this is pork brisket. This is not beef brisket. So sit, stay, stay. This is the point and this is the flat muscle. All right. So... You, you want to go give it a shot here? Okay, go. Go, go eat. Okay, here we go. Go. Are you sniffing it up? That's the point. And he's enjoying the flat. Licking the plate. Seal of approval beans, right? I think he likes mangalista pork. Undoubtedly, some of the best pork I've eaten, period. I've eaten a lot of different breeds of pork. Mangalista is really way up there in terms of the flavor, the sweetness of the pork. Beans, you agree? I think he did. He does. He's licking his chops here. So thanks for joining me on my Mangalista pork brisket episode. Hope you guys uh, had fun watching me cook it. Too bad uh, you guys can't taste it, but I have to give you my word that it's probably one of the best pork uh, I've ever eaten bar none. I've eaten a lot of different heritage breeds from around America. Can't wait to try out some of the other mangalista cuts that I have uh, that are kind of thawing in the refrigerator right now. We have a Boston butt. We've got some uh, pork, mangalista pork belly. We also have some uh, mangalista spare ribs. So until the next video, please like, subscribe and share. And I shot this video during the COVID crisis. So everybody's staying at home. So stay home, stay alive, cook barbecue. Until the next time, we will see ya.